Purchase Geospatial Services for NOAA Coastal Services Center. Mr. Ty. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Uh, following the, the recent flooding issues we had back in February, there have been several meetings um, that we've been a part of, along with uh, representatives from the city, other county staff, other um, representatives from other cities and counties in our region, meeting with the Army Corps of Engineers, U.S. Geological Survey, um, representatives from NOAA, and a, and a very large group to determine um, some things, uh, what, if anything, we, we might can do to, to help alleviate some of the flooding or provide better um, warning information in the event of future events. One of the things that has come up numerous times is um, updating flood maps as well as providing some type of flood modeling. To reach that goal, one of the things we need is um, LIDAR, which um, is basically where they, uh, and it's elevation data. They, they do an aerial flight um, and it allows them to get more detailed elevation data to help them create better flood models. Um, one, of the, one of the meetings we had that Rachel Strom with Regional Commission set up for us um, involved a, a potential project that one of the other regional commissions was doing that we, we had initially hoped we might could, could piggyback on and there would be some, some federal funding available to help us obtain this LIDAR data. That never materialized. Well, what did come out of that meeting is we learned that um, rather than Lowndes County contracting on their own with a provider, putting out RFP, doing all that legwork um, to obtain LIDAR data either now or in the future, um, the NOAA Coastal Services Center kind of already has something where they, um, they pre-qualify vendors, they work with them, they um, assure that you're getting, you know, they have higher, the high quality standards that we would need. Um, and so what this agreement is, is um, it's just an agreement for us to basically kind of be set up as a vendor um, or a user with them so that in the future, um, say next year or year after if some funding becomes available, we decided that we wanted to um, obtain that LIDAR data at a much reduced um, cost to, to the county. Um, we would be able to contract through them. You, you know, it would save not only time, but you know, like I said, a, a substantial amount of money. I believe through this agreement, if we, if we contracted on our own, um, LIDAR is running about, I think, $450 a square mile. Um, through this agreement, if we wanted to do it, it's about $275 um, dollars a square mile. So that's a pretty substantial savings. This agreement isn't obligating us to do anything, spend any money. It basically just kind of reserves our right. If we wanted to use them in the future, then we have the option to do so. And then at that time, if we ever reach that point, then we would bring an actual formal contract that outlines what we're going to be doing and any money obligations. But so right now we're just asking for the authorization for the chairman to sign this agreement to um, set us up so that we could utilize these these services with the Coastal Services Center in the future if we decided it would be in our best interest. So, any questions? Any questions? <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to verify this is, uh, I guess, annual uh, renewal type of agreement? <clears throat> yes, sir. The, the agreement is, um, it can be terminated at any time, but uh, the way it reads is it's at a minimum, it, su it suggests that um, that we review it every three years because it's not really obligating you to anything. You know, we could have we could have this in place for three years and never use it. It just it's just sitting there. The um, so the agreement really goes on. You know, unless we unless we terminate it in writing, I don't think it ever expires. Um, but there's no contract tied to this. So basically, we would just be set up. You know, as 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 a potential user. Um, for as long as we we wanted to be in that program. Any other questions? And if we decided to implement this at a future date, then we would be sharing costs with other municipalities within the county? That's something we would have to work out at that time. Um, what, I, what I do know is, is um, for the most part, the city of Aldosta and, and county staff have been the ones that have been actively involved in the meetings. And... Um, you know, at one time the, the city had inquired about, well, you know, if, even if we did, you know, if we decided not to do it, good day. And, and the smallest area they'll do is the whole county. So if we decided to do something, then that's when we would kind of at that time work it out between city and county staff and determine what kind of cost share there would be. I mean, I'm sure there will be some, but, but I don't, you know, I can't tell you right now what that would, okay. what that would be. 
So you're saying that if we use their services, the 500 and some odd square miles we have in Lowndes County is the minimum they would do. That's right. You know, I mean, because it, 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 it's so, um, they have so much cost involved with setting up the equipment, you know, airplane taking off from the airport, that kind of stuff. You know, they wouldn't want to just do 40 square miles in the city limits or city of Lake Park or somewhere like that. So they, they want to know they're getting, you know, uh, a big enough area to, to make it worth, you know, cost effective for them. Thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none. Thank you, Mr. Dunn.